Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tuesday afternoon and it is a brand new term here at Hollyport College. Welcome back. Um, first up today, I want to talk about trials or exams for those of you who are new to Hollyport College, but we call them trials because in five weeks time you will already have begun your first set of trials this year, which for many of you will be your first set of trials here at Hollyport College. Trials means that in the last week of this term you will not have your normal lesson, you will come off timetable and you will have some independent study time and some exams. They will be formal exams in every subject um, to test what you've learnt so far this year and how well you have done. Um, so your teachers will be mentioning this a lot. It is important, but not so important you need to be dying of stress over it. It's just important to do your best. Um, so when you start hearing about that, that's what that means. The other thing I'd like to do today is to talk about co-curriculum and prep. Say hello, lovely year 10s. Hi. Hello. Um, and... <laughs> What I'd like to say about co-curriculum and prep is as follows. The clocks have changed and we are now approaching the depths of winter. And that means that later in the afternoon, it's now getting really, really dark. Which means if you were doing games as your co-curricular, for example, this afternoon, all of year nine and all of year 10 do games, or most of you, um, by 4.45, by the second half of the session, it is going to be too dark to continue with games outdoors. That means that for the second half of co-curricular, where previously you would have had 90 minutes of games, you will now have 45 minutes of prep time. So any day you would have had games, you will now have some prep time when it gets too dark to carry on with games. Um, Obviously, that's going to present a challenge because that means this afternoon, for the first time at 4.45, we will have 268 students all in prep at the same time, and that's not happened so far this year. So we're going to ring a couple of changes. First of all, rather than telling you which corridor you're going to go to, I'm now going to tell you which room you're going to go to, and your form tutors have that list. So after the notices today, they're gonna to read that list out and tell you which room to go to. It is a room on the corridor that you were on previously, so I'm on the maths corridor. Year nines, you'll be in one of the four rooms on this corridor, but the list now tells you which room to go to. When you get to prep, that room should be open and the door should be propped open. You go straight in, you sit down, you get on. You don't need to wait to be told what to do. I'll go around and make sure the doors are open, but you go calmly, quietly, you sit down, you get on with some work <clears throat> or some quiet reading if you really don't have any. Um, most of you are really grateful to have that prep time during the day. So use it, enjoy it, get some work done, take less work home with you or have less work to do in the evening. Great news. Um, the other thing I need to say though about this is Chromebooks, because as far as I'm concerned, you all work really hard in prep, but beginning of the session causes conflict, because nobody knows can decide what room to go into, and then everybody wants a Chromebook. So here's what I'm saying, because we simply don't have enough for everybody. If you are in prep when your year group would have been in games, so that today, that's if you're in year nine or year 10, then there are no Chromebooks available for you. Year 10, you're in that corridor over there, you do have the ICT room. But year nine, when you come to prep today, there's not going to be any Chromebooks for you. You're going to need to work in your books, work on paper. The majority of your prep will be allowing you to do that. If you really don't have anything you can do without a Chromebook and you don't have your own device, then you read a book. Paul, um, year seven and eight, because you have an activity then a prep session, there are still Chromebooks available for you for that prep session today. Um, then tomorrow, when year seven and eight would have been in games and year 10 would have been in games, whereas year nine, you've got activities then prep, year nine, you have Chromebooks available tomorrow um, in your prep session, but seven, eight and 10, you don't. Does that make sense? So if you have that prep session when you would have been in games, even those of you who'd previously dropped games, for example, year nine, if you dropped games earlier, you go to the room that your tutor's about to tell you to go to, you go straight in, you sit down, you get on nicely and quietly and calmly and independently. Those are our watchwords. We don't want to put pressure on you. We don't want to nag at you. We just need you to do it. It should be a time of focus, quiet, calm. Um, so that's where we're at. I hope everybody's had a lovely first day back. I look forward to catching up with those of you who I haven't caught up with yet. Take it easy and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.